Hey guys, how's it going? So welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first one ever doing it. Um, basically, I'm gonna teach you guys how to cook. Cooking should be made fun and easy, especially around your friends and family. And today I'm gonna show you how to cook a lamb with some butternut squash puree here. And we have some bacon, some pomegranate, Brussels sprouts. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, not a lot of ingredients, but it makes a really good dish. And just to give you a background, I'll keep it short. I have almost about 10 years cooking. I worked in many places. Right now, I'm currently at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Uh, but right now, due to the whole pandemic going on, I just wanted to put this together to, you know, do something productive and that way I can help you guys benefit from something to learn. And if you could teach me something, I can also teach you something. So let's get started. We're gonna turn on the pan to a pretty high heat. And we're gonna get some oil here. And you wanna be quite generous with it. And the best thing about searing meat is that you wanna have a hot pan. The way you do that is you wait until this pan is nice and smoky. You don't want it burning either. And also if you have a fan, I recommend turning it on. We'll put it at about a low. You get your pan ready because it has to have a good flavor. In order to have a good flavor, you have to have that good sear that makes it perfect. And the way it becomes perfect is with color. That's the whole point of a sear. So you want that to get nice and hot. See how it's starting to move a little fast? Usually oil just kind of like moves a little slow, but as it gets hotter, it turns into like a water movement. So let's wait until that gets nice and hot. In the meantime, let me show you what I have here. I have the lamb and I've already marinated it. I have some thyme and some garlic and salt and pepper. And I have butter here, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to do this perfectly sear lamb. It's very delicious, it's very good for you, high in protein, and I recommend that you use it for any kind of meal that you would like to prepare for. So while we have that pan going, I'm gonna get this water also ready. And it's always good to be prepared. You always wanna set yourself up for success. You never wanna be sloppy and running around for ingredients. You just wanna have everything in front of you that way you just want point A to point B. Well, the water is already boiling, but it's always important that you want to season your water if you're cooking vegetable, blanching uh, vegetables or making pasta. And the whole point of blanching is basically boiling the food and then you shock it so you stop it from cooking. You just want to cook the vegetables enough to it's perfectly tender. And salt actually helps the water boil faster. It's like a chemical reaction. So I'll turn that down for the meantime. As you see here, this is already getting smoky. So that's about ready. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our lamb. And the best way to do this, I, per, I mean, I've been cooking for a while now, so I'm pretty used to the heat. But if you're starting off, I recommend you using a, a tongue. But for me, I'm just going to go ahead and go hands on. So what you want to do, you want to do the skin side down. And you're just going to get away from the heat. See that, hear that sound? You want to also kiss it. Move it around a little bit, that way you prevent it from sticking. And you want to leave it there about two minutes. We're going to flip it and we're going to sear every piece of the side of the lamp. So while that's going, let's go ahead and get our Brussels sprouts. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half, like so. And also turn down your heat, that way it doesn't burn on you. So the thing about cooking is that, yeah, you might think to yourself, oh, he's going very fast, or, you know, maybe I can't keep up with that speed, but trust me, it just comes with practice, like anything. If you could do three times, three things at a time, like I'm doing here, perfect. But if you could do one thing at a time, that's also fine. Take your time, you never wanna rush anything. Don't ever feel rushed about cooking. You always wanna take your time, so that way everything comes out to your perfection. Okay, 
I'm gonna leave that there about a minute or two. So this pan is pretty hot. See that color? That's what you want. See, that's the color that you want on any kind of meat. Reason being is because if you have it at that color, that's all gonna be flavored like I mentioned earlier. You don't wanna broil your meat because then it's not gonna taste good. You wanna have it at a high temperature, but also be careful with the heat because heat can actually make your food burn very easily if you're not careful with it. So see, we have the back side now. And just take your time. See, I'm not rushing, I'm not running around. I got everything in front of me, I'm good. So see how this is pretty smoky? So now we're gonna turn it on its back. See, good color. It always depends on what kind of, what kind of pan you're using as well. And this, and this kind of pans, uh, the steel pans, they, they get pretty hot pretty fast. Cast iron is more recommended, but I don't really have one right now. But this is good as well. All right. So we want to get all that nice and seared. Lamb can be a little tricky. So what I recommend, if you're starting off with lamb, set your oven at 200 degrees. And we're gonna put it in there for about 15 minutes for a perfect medium. Put it in the middle, right there. Don't worry about the smoke, the oven will be fine. Okay, now we have this. This is pretty much already ready to go. Our Brussels sprouts. Let's go ahead and grab it. Bring it over here. Usually you could dump it in some ice water, but since I don't really have ice right now in hand, I'm just gonna go ahead and let, let some water run through it. That way it stops the cooking. All right guys, so we're back here. So now let's do the Brussels sprouts. So I got about three slices of bacon here. I cut it in half. And what we're gonna do now is basically just slice the bacon all the way down. And I already got a pot right here. A pan, I'm sorry, not a pot. And just to help it a little bit, I know bacon has a lot of fat and it does render, but since I'm cooking Brussels sprouts with it, I just wanna have a little bit of oil, so that way when I have uh, Brussels sprouts in there, it gets a nice color. Like when we say, color's important. And there you go, you always want that sound. That's, a, that's the best sound that you could hear in cooking, is that sizzling sound. All right, let me wash my hands. So yeah, you know, when you're starting off to cook, I know it can get a little messy at times, but just with practice, you get organized and more clean. And trust me, when you're organized, you're gonna be less messy and less sloppy. It's like anything in life, you know? That's why cooking, to me, I take it in life, you know? Sometimes in life, your life gets a little sloppy, it gets a little disorganized, but if you put yourself, if you prepare yourself for success, then you're good. You're not, you know, running around like crazy or anything like that. So see that? We got the bacon pretty much rendering. And there's also different kinds of oils that you can use. Uh, I'll be making a video on that later on. But yeah, it's important to use specific type of oils, at least for me, uh, just because I think it's a good preference. Like olive oil, I really, really use it for me. I rather use grapeseed oil. So like I said, I'll make another video about that. So my timer already went off. I got the lamb pretty much here. And you always want to have a dry, not wet, a dry towel in hand. That way you can hold hot things. That way you're not burning yourself either. Trust me, you know, I've had lots and lots of burns and lots of cuts. And that's something that I don't want you to do. So let's go ahead and get this ready. One thing I did forget to do early on was baste the lamb. But we'll just go ahead and do it now. 
So we have a stick of butter, and since it's already hot, let me try on the heat again. And what you want to do, you just want to baste this. So let's get that hot. And like I said, you're going to get faster, you know, doing things at a time. I've got a little burnt one there, but that's okay. Right about there, you could add the Brussels sprouts. Alright guys, so here we have our lamb, so we're going to go ahead and baste it, let's turn it, the knuckle over, don't mind my baby, he's just crying, but we'll get him right now, I just became a dad four months ago guys. Down the heat. Yeah, this gives us real good flavor. Makes the barrel nice and juicy and moist. Okay. Alright guys, we're back. So now it's the fun part. I already let my lamb rest here. And now what we're gonna do is go ahead and start plating. So we got our butter nut squash here. And it doesn't matter how slow or fast you go with plating. I like to make my food look nice. You know. And here we got our Brussels sprouts. Just take your time, you know, it doesn't, no rush, especially when you're trying to make something special for someone. Put the bacon on there. Nice and rendered off. Okay. All right. Now we'll go ahead and put some pomegranates on the squash. Put in a squash puree. Spread it out a little more. Come on. Okay. And now we're gonna go ahead and cut this lamb. I'll just cut a little bit more. There you go. Perfect medium. Go ahead and plate this up now. Just like that. Okay guys, now let's add a little garnish to it. Put some thyme sprigs on there. And there you go. So there you have it guys. Our lamb with our butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, bacon, and pomegranate and some thyme for garnish. You know, and a lot of people like their meats cooked differently. I always like my meats at medium. I think they're the best way to cook like that. There's some people like it well done, mid rare. Whatever you like, it's your food. Cook it how you please. You don't even have to use lamb. Maybe you could do steak. Whatever you want. Even if you're a vegetarian, you use mushrooms. Whatever you want. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm going to make some more videos for you guys. So, please go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. And please just know that whatever you do, always have fun cooking. Whatever you do, just do it with love. Alright guys, take care.